Hi friends, this is the 22nd lecture from Barron's 800 High Frequency Words and this lecture is part of our vocabulary course in Spartan's e-learning application, Android application, right? So this particular vocabulary course is having not just uh, uh, Barron's 800 words but we also included Spartan's special 500 words and apart from that we are also including uh, a special playlist on uh, demystifying the mystifying word series wherein you will be having a group words a, a group words uh, which are actually confusing words right so all the confusing words uh, uh, they're kept as as groups so those uh, uh, that particular playlist is also uploaded in the YouTube so the series is continued as part of this uh, vocabulary course right so let's get started so our first word for this lecture is pusillanimous Pusillanimous is an adjective meaning cowardly or faint-hearted. Example, you should be ashamed of your pusillanimous conduct during this dispute. Our next word is putative. Putative is an adjective meaning supposed or believed or accepted by majority of the people. Right? Example, the putative father of her child. So putative means something which is believed by the majority. Our next word is quagmire. Quagmire is a noun meaning soft, wet, boggy land or complex or a dangerous situation from which it is very difficult to free oneself. Right? So the you observe the two meanings here. One is being very wet, boggy land. Okay? Very soft land. In the picture you can see that. That is a quagmire. Now, the another uh, meaning of quagmire is a complex situation uh, in which uh, if you are entangled, it will be very difficult to get out of it, right? So, a complex situation or a dangerous scenarios or a dangerous situations are also called a quagmire. Example, up to her knees in mud, Sheila wondered how on earth she was going to extricate herself from this quagmire. Now, extricate means uh, to free oneself. Our next word is qualified. Qualified here it is an adjective meaning limited or restricted. Right? So uh, example unable to give the candidate full support the mayor gave him only a qualified endorsement. Endorsement means approval. So qualified means with certain restrictions. Right? For example, you can say uh, a qualified statement is a statement where you keep some restrictions. Like uh, if your friend, if your friend invited you for a party, okay, and if you give him an uh, unqualified answer or if you give him an unqualified uh, uh, agreement, uh, it means that you are saying him that you will definitely come for the party. But if you are giving him a qualified answer, your answer will be something like this: Definitely, I will come to your party, but okay that means wherever you use that word but you are actually qualifying your statement that means you are actually limiting yourself right so the statement can be like this i'll come to the party but then i have to leave in 30 minutes right that can be a qualified statement so you are limiting it so this word is very uh, useful when you are writing your uh, our section as well right so giving a an unqualified answer means you are completely agreeing to that right if you are uh, qualifying your statement that means you are limiting your statement so the words which are used for uh, qualifying certain statements are uh, but okay uh, nonetheless or uh, uh, yet all these kind of words right our next word is qualms qualms is a noun meaning a feeling of a slight worry or doubt because you are not sure that what you are doing is right so qualms means uh, reservations right if you are having qualms you are actually having some uncertainty whether you are what you are doing is right or wrong so you have some restrictions or reservations example despite my qualms i took the job our next word is queasy queasy is an adjective meaning feeling that you are going to vomit or the feeling of uh, being uncomfortable because an action seems morally wrong. So you should understand both the meanings here. Queasy means a feeling of uh, uh, feeling that you are going to vomit. And the second meaning of a queasy is being uh, feeling very uncomfortable because an action seems to be morally wrong. Example, as the ship left the harbor, 
he became queasy and thought that he was going to suffer from seasickness second example many democrats felt queasy about the issue so these democrats felt very uncomfortable or they felt that the the particular issue is morally wrong our next word is quibble quibble is a verb meaning to argue about small and unimportant details right so quibbling or petty issues we say quibbling or petty issues so quibble means to argue about small and unimportant details example let's not quibble over minor details so quibble means uh, arguing on s- some unimportant uh, details right unimportant things our next word is quiescent quiescent is an adjective meaning at rest or dormant example after this geyser uh, erupts it will remain quiescent for 24 hours so we say if we pronounce this as quiescent our next word is quorum quorum is a noun meaning the smallest number of people who must be present to conduct a meeting so the smallest number of people or the minimum number of people required to uh, for a meeting to happen right so that is called quorum example we need a quorum of 7 our next word is raconta raconta is a noun meaning storyteller example my father was a gifted raconta with an unlimited supply of anecdotes anecdotes means small stories so a raconter is a, a storyteller our next word is ragamuffin it is not a ragamuffin it is a ragamuffin ragamuffin is a noun meaning a dirty and child wearing torn clothes example he felt sorry for the ragamuffin who was begging for food and gave him money to buy a meal so ragamuffin is a dirty and child wearing torn clothes he may be an orphan who is roaming on streets without having proper clothes and food okay so particular basically a ragamuffin is a dirty and child our next word is rail rail is a verb meaning to scold or rant example you may rail at him all you want you will never change him so the proper uses for rail is a rail at okay rail at him so if you rail at someone you are actually scolding him right our next word is raiment raiment is a noun meaning clothing example how can i go to the ball ask cinderella i have no raiment fit to wear in the picture you can see uh, that is not uh, the raiment which ordinary people wear right it's uh, something like a dignitary wear so a raiment means a clothing this particular word you can memorize this way you know raiments right that is a part, uh, very branded clothing so raiment means clothing our next word is rakish rakish is an adjective meaning stylish or sporty example he wore his hat at a rakish and jaunty angle so here i'll discuss word uh, called jaunty jaunty is an adjective meaning showing that you're confident and happy example he had a jaunty walk anyway this particular word will be discussed in coming lectures so a jaunty music is fast and makes you feel very happy example a jaunty tone or jaunty tune okay so basically jaunty means showing that you are very confident and happy so here rakish means stylish and sporty so example he wore his hat at a rakish and jaunty angle right so basically rakish means being very stylish if a man looks rakish or if he wears a rakish clothes he dresses very nicely and looks confident and relaxed okay so basically rakish means stylish Uh, so uh, one more example for rakish can be a rakish uniform similarly if you wear something at a rakish angle uh, you if you you wear a hat at a rakish angle means you do not wear it straight and uh, this makes you look very relaxed and confident see this in the picture you can see michael jackson is wearing his hat hat at a rakish angle 
so basically what that denotes is he is very happy and confident right so if you wear a hat at a rakish angle you do not wear it straight but you make uh, you wear it at certain angle so that that looks uh, you feel more relaxed that looks like you are more relaxed and you are more confident okay so people uh, as and when they see you are you are wearing a hat at a rakish angle it shows to the people that you are very confident and happy right so this is all about rakish our next word is ramble ramble is a noun meaning to talk for a long time in a way that does not seem uh, clearly organized so that other people find it difficult to understand you uh, so the first meaning here is a verb rambling okay so if you ramble you f you talk for a long time without uh, clearly organizing your speech so that other people will find it very difficult to understand you the second meaning of a ramble is if a plant uh, or uh, as a noun it means a plant that rambles grows in all directions in the picture you can see the particular plant or that particular tree is called a ramble because it has grown uh, in multiple directions without being organizing properly right now the third meaning of ramble is a, is is to go on a walk in a countryside for pleasure so it's a pleasure hike okay so here ramble means we have three meanings one is a, an unorganized talk second is a plant or a tree which grows in all directions third is going for a countryside walk example she is getting old and she tends to ramble a bit second example there is plenty to discover as you ramble around this little island our next word is ramification ramification is a noun meaning branching out or subdivision the picture you can see the particular branches are ramified now ramification means uh, branching out or subdivisions or implications is also means it also means ramification now example we must examine all the ramifications of this problem so here it uh, it means that we must examine all the implications of this problem right so you know uh, if there is a problem there can be multiple implications or there can be multiple repercussions right so whenever certain bad thing happen there will be many repercussions now ramification means branching out or making something into multiple divisions or one more meaning is implications our next word is ramify ramify as a verb means to divide into branches or subdivisions example when the plant begins to ramify it is advisable to nip off most of the new branches so example when the plant begins to ramify that means when the plant begins to divide itself okay multiple times then it is advisable to nip off most of the new branches our next word is rarefied rarefied means made less dense especially of a gas example the mountain climbers had difficulty breathing in the rarefied atmosphere so a rarefied atmosphere is an atmosphere where you feel uh, the gas is very less dense and it, you feel uh, very difficult to breathe in right so especially this uh, this situation is faced uh, will be faced by the mountaineers when they climb very high mountains where the height is uh, in uh, thousands of feet okay there the gas will be of very less density and making you f uh, making it very difficult for you to uh, respire our next word is raucous raucous is an adjective meaning sounding unpleasantly loud impolite noisy and violent so something which is very noisy and violent is called raucous example his raucous laughter irritated me and grated on my ears here grated is a very good word great as a verb means to rub cheese vegetables etc against a rough or sharp surface in order to break them into small pieces so we have already discussed about this word in our previous lecture so a uh, great means as a first meaning it means to rub cheese or vegetables against a rough sharp surface so that you can you will break that into uh, many small pieces that is called grating so second meaning of great means to talk in a low rough voice or hissing is also called great third meaning of great means to annoy someone continuously right so that is called great so that particular pro pronoun sorry preposition will be great on example 
Mr. Sam had a loud voice that grated on her ears. So the grate will take a preposition on when you uh, mean, meant to say irritation, right? Grate on means irritate. So to annoy someone is called grate on. Grating someone is means irritating someone. Also, great means to make an unpleasant sound by rubbing or make something to, uh, to do to create a, a harsh sound, right? If you are rubbing to metal metal surfaces, that is also called grating because you are generating a harsh sound or irritating sound. So now you must be very clear of these two words, raucous and the great. Our next word is rebuff. Rebuff is a verb meaning an unkind or unfriendly answer to a friendly suggestion or offer of help. So beating back is also called rebuff. Example, he received a humiliating rebuff from his manager. So he received a beat back or an unkind answer or an unkindly reply for a friendly suggestion. Okay, that is called rebuff. Our next word is rebus. Rebus is a noun meaning puzzle in which pictures stand for words. So that is called rebus. So for, for you to memorize this word rebus, I have pasted the picture of red bus. Okay. A rebus means a puzzle in which picture stand for words. Now in this picture you can see if you if I erase this words red bus, okay, and if I draw that picture of a bus in red color, there, there you can see. Uh, by looking at the uh, bus, uh, bus uh, which is drawn in the red color, you can say red bus, right? So a picture which stands for words is called a rebus. It's not a rebus, it is rebus. Example, a puzzle in which words are represented by combinations of pictures and individual letters. For instance, apex might be represented by a picture of an ape followed by a letter X. So apex can be represented by this, right? You can draw a picture of an ape followed by letter X. Looking at that, one can say that is apex, right? Our last word for this lecture is recalcitrant. Recalcitrant is an adjective meaning obstinately stubborn, right? Example, donkeys are reputed to be the most recalcitrant of animals. So recalcitrant means very stubborn, unwilling to obey your orders, right? Being very stubborn. So this is it for this lecture. Thank you.